One thing that the listeners might not realize is that the prices that are being determined in the future exchanges tend to have very little to do with real supply and demand uh, on the physical side. Look at it this way. If you want to uh, bet in the future exchanges, you can get a thousand percent leverage easily and you get a short position on silver, which means you borrow imaginary silver, which you are selling at 10 times the, the quantity because you have that leverage. So if a trader thinks, you know, silver ought to be going down for whatever reason, he can take a hundred thousand dollars and have a million dollars worth of uh, sell pressure. If a physical buyer comes in and he wants to buy a hundred thousand dollars worth of physical silver, he will buy it from a bullion dealer and that bullion dealer might then uh, hedge it himself in the future exchange. The net effect is that there's still $900,000 worth of download pressure. So while the physical supply and demand might have a little, little bit of an impact, the prices are really determined by the financial people, not by the dealers, not by the physical people. And they're going wherever the financial people think you know they should be going. And in a time of crisis like now, you are seeing that divergence. You are, you're seeing, as, as a bullion dealer, we have a product whose demand is skyrocketing. I mean, we're talking a thousand times normal, I mean, a thousand percent more demand than normal. And the price of silver has been falling 30%. It has crashed from $18 to as low as 12. Now it's back to around 14. Um, so it makes no sense in, in from the physical side that this should be happening. And because we have a product which goes up in demand and down in price, the logical consequence is shortages. And what the dealers are doing and the suppliers is to basically in, increase the premiums because the market system is not working for physical, because the gold and silver spot price just aren't guided by physical supply.